So this is my old uh, PCB valve and uh, you can see there is a cut in here and flexibility is not that much. I don't know for what reason it got a blockage uh, because uh, if it is a little bit flexible itself there should not be any blockage so but it got a blockage and see there is tearing here that's a tear and overall this is my old one and this is spring with it so I ordered from China, AliExpress. I ordered two in case if one fails, I can readily go ahead and change with the other one. That's why. It got like 15 days to ship it to my place. And I don't know how well it will work, but I'm gonna try this and I'll give you an update uh, on this comments. One please. Take it out. Yeah. Ropes. That's the new spring. And this is the old one. And It should be identical. We'll see, like uh, looks almost okay. And one to one comparison. This is the original one, and this is the copy from China. So looks okay there is a, a groove in here goes here and here there is a what do you call projection outside but not outside it's a it's a cut uh, which locks the projection from the uh, what do you call wall cover and similarly there is one here and the next one is here so it's similar the cutting looks decent so pretty much all seem to be normal and last this is like flexible enough Okay, the center part in my old one was moving outside, but this one stays strong. That might be the reason you can see here, this goes in like it's not sticking to it. You see that? So. this one it's like hot it's, it's glued to the plastic part so it's not going out so that might be the problem in my car so I'll change this and see uh, how's that the main thing as I told you my car was having overheating problem whenever uh, the rpm goes high or when I drive my car uh, more than like 80 kilometers per hour or 100 uh, furthermore when I drive continuously the temperature uh, stays like 120 130 degree and give, it gives uh, high temperature warning drive moderately things like that so that's the reason I'm changing the PCV uh, so let's see uh, how it works 
So I have an oil heating issue. Uh, you can see here oil all around. The oil came from the what do you call it? front front uh, crankshaft seal. See the oil on the pump. It's not focusing properly. Yeah, now you can see there. There is oil, and whenever I accelerate the car above 100, uh, the overheating message pops up. And when I drive normally, it goes away. So, what I found is the PCV uh, is uh, faulty. So, I just took the PCV off by using uh, what do you call this is actually a hanger door hanger I use uh, this one because you need something flat which uh, should go in here to pop up like this and it's a five minutes job it was easy to get with this tool so uh, you should get something like this uh, to take it out with a normal screwdriver you won't be able to get it so this is the old one and this is the PCB ball uh, there is uh, a crack in here and this one when I removed it so this is the system now I got it uh, like a new one from AliExpress This is the one from AliExpress. I uh, previously showed, so I'm gonna install this one. Let's put this to new springs and make sure it has been seated properly. Yeah. Push it down. Make sure it's, it has been seated properly. Make sure all the four clips has been installed in the proper position. Okay. Now, next thing I want to do is remove the crank seal and change it because it already has a leak because of the pressure built inside the engine bay. So, I'm gonna do that and we'll show you after that. I'm taking the seal out, there is a small leak in here, so using a flat head, pry one side out and it's really small so it's very easy to take it out. And uh, for the wheel, crankshaft wheel, it's just three uh, bolts uh, with E12 size. Okay, just a second, I'll show you. Only three of those uh, before releasing the belt tensioner I removed all the three uh, bolts and after that only I released the belt tensioner and the friction uh, pulley after that I took uh, the belt out from the uh, wheel and uh, removed the seal that's it I'm gonna put the seals back a uh, new one and I do everything back now I have installed the new seal it's an aftermarket one uh, not the original because original was a little bit expensive I put uh, aftermarket one 
which was much much cheaper so but I don't recommend this uh, see it's not going fully inside so uh, let's see how it works but uh, if it is the original one it will go uh, until there is a tapering over there so you have to push it in until you see the tapering on this surface so uh, now I'm gonna put the wheel back and complete the installation so I have completed the installation everything is back and install the new seals oil seals and as I told you, I might have to take it, uh, remove it and install the original one because I still see some oil in there. You see, you see, still there is some oil, but it's not pushing to the water pump, it's just uh, dripping, I guess, and a little bit on the crank wheel also. So, uh, but I, I did a test run like around 100 kilometers and no overheating. I tried accelerating at high RPM, no more issues. So, I hope the PCV did the job and no more leaks, uh, like no more major leaks in the coil or any more like that before. When the problem was there, all the coils were filled with oil because the high pressure pushed the oil uh, through the seals and it was just ruined up. So I have uh, cleared all the oil leaks. I changed uh, the gasket, the, in, uh, the what you call oil car gaskets, and uh, now everything seems to be normal. So basically the overheating was caused by a blocked PCV and if you have the N13 engine or a Mini Cooper with the N13 engine I will recommend you to keep a spare PCV 1 or 2 from AliExpress because it's doing a great job and it doesn't cost much and uh, the other part is the turbo inlet coolant in here also there is more chance for uh, water leak because it's having small o-ring you just have to change the o-ring you can get it from a local o-ring shop you don't have to change the whole unit just the o-ring is enough i already did it you know what else to check is the reservoir tank if the reservoir tank is old enough there might be leak from this area so check for that also in case I hope that's it hope this helps someone just hit a like if you find it helpful or if it did fix your issues uh, one more thing to be noticed you might have oil leak from here if you have given your car in garage they might push it out and the clips might break mine already broke that's the reason i tied it with a uh, what do you call a metal wire so that's it enjoy